All right, it's the rookie car haul out here. Just got finished loading up. Um, this load right here. Um, got three tell you rides. <clears throat> I'm up here. I got, let me see, one, two, three, four tell you rides. Four tell you rides on here, um, which I used to be scared. The more tell you rides, the more scared I get because I'm a rookie, you know what I'm saying? And and I, I've been overweight before at a scale and they made me adjust the load. And it's not a fun thing to be at a scale house uh, trying to adjust the load, especially at a scale house that don't want you to take nothing off the truck. Some scale houses you go through, they'll let you, you know, take stuff off the truck and put it on the ground. But this particular one I went to, they said no, no vehicles can touch the ground. So whatever adjustments needed to be made, I had to make them in the air. I had to make them on the truck and trailer itself i couldn't take no vehicles off i had to just kind of you know shift stuff around while i was still on the trailer so that's what i did i did the best i could and i ended up making weight i just shifted a couple popped it. i popped some of the straps and move you know move some stuff forward a little bit backward a little bit and that helped a lot you know what i'm saying it got me through the scale house i was still a little bit overweight but they didn't care about them couple hundred pounds anyway i was like a thousand pounds over i do all i did was shift a couple of vehicles and shift you know and I got my weight down to, you know, being a little bit over 100 pounds over and they let me go. But anyway, uh, I wanted to make this video to show you that to, for the rookies out there like myself, that once you get your load done and load it, um, use your height stick. Don't forget to use your height stick. I know a lot of guys get out here and they get cocky and they think they don't have to use their height stick. They think they can just eyeball the load. And, and sometimes you can eyeball the load, you know what I'm saying? But for the rookies out there, I would recommend for your first year, uh, of car hauling, you need to be using that high stick. Even after, even after your first year, I know veterans that use a high, that you put a stick on loads. Um, probably not every load, but you know, some I know some veterans that don't use a high stick practically at all. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, they don't really need a high stick. You know what I'm saying? But um, I recommend using a high stick as much as you possibly can. Me personally, I never leave without checking my height. Uh, I, I've done it like once or twice. I've, I've rolled without checking my height with a full load. But that's because I had like all cars on there and I knew I was under that I was under height. I was under, you know, that first if you under that first vehicle height, that first vehicle, if your all your cars are lower than that one, then you know your height is good. Because that height right there is like 12, 7 or whatever it is, 12, 6, the poles all the way in the air. Anyway, for the rookie car haulers out there, get your height stick and use your height stick. Don't be arrogant. Don't think you don't need to use your height stick. Put a stick on the load. On this particular load, I'm high. I'm a little bit high on this particular load. As you can see all the way up there. But get your high stick up there, swing it up there, you know, and make sure you make sure you check your numbers and uh, you know, make sure your height is right. You want to be. I don't like to. I don't like to be over 13.8 to be honest with you with a full load. I like to keep. Ah, shoot. I like to keep everything under 13.8. Um, that's not always possible, especially with pickup trucks. Um, you're going to be riding 14, 14.1, 14 sometimes even higher than that. I know guys that ride 14.5 sometimes. Me, I would never ride 14.5. I won't I won't take the load. Um, simple as that. I just won't take the load. You know what I'm saying? Um, unless I know exactly where I'm going and I know for sure I can get that load there. But if there's any discrepancies or any doubts whatsoever about a load i'm not taking a load and be uh 14 5 i don't when i hear guys talk like that i'll be like that's ludicrous man you know what i'm saying in my opinion that's ludicrous but i'm a rookie so who cares what i think you know what i'm saying um i'm just trying not to hit nothing um you know thank god i've never hit nothing so far well I, i've you know obviously i've scraped some branches and stuff like that um i've got damages like that with scraped branches i'm afraid of this load this load going to louisiana so I'm scared about this load because I caught some branches in I caught a branch going to uh, Louisiana before. I caught a branch, a nice branch, and it caught a damage. This was recently, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't hear nothing about it yet. You know, as you guys know, I pay for all my damages 100%. Um, that's one of the downsides of working for an owner operator um, is that sometimes you will be paying for all of your damage. Even some big companies make you pay for your damages though, to be honest with you. Um, but I know United Rule, you don't really pay for your damages there. Uh, I've gotten many damages at United Road and um, I've never heard about it. After I tell them about it the first time, that's all I hear. I don't hear about it no more. So with big companies, they got big insurances and stuff and they can afford to cover your damages for you. But a smaller company, they got to pay the damages and their insurance goes up and stuff like that. So, 
you know, with Asmar, obviously, you know, if that's in the contract, you know what I'm saying, that I pay for 100% of my damages. Um, I've gotten damages with him so far, and I haven't paid for any yet. So, you know, part of that might be because he's my buddy, you know what I'm saying? And part of it might be because they didn't really come at him for the money yet. And I think the latter is the real reason that they didn't really come for him yet to get the pay for the damages I caused. So he didn't come for me yet, you know what I'm saying? Because Asmar is about that bag and he not going, he's not going to pay for no damages that I did. You know what I'm saying? Um, for the most part, you know, for real, for real. Unless he knows it wasn't my fault, then maybe we might be able to, he might let the insurance cover it or something like that. I don't know. Something popping over there. Anyway, it's the Rookie Car Hauler. This video wasn't about, it, it was about damages, but it was mainly about this, this height stick, okay? Stop being arrogant out there for the rookies. Stop thinking that you can run your load without checking your height. Stop listening to everybody who tell you they run 14.5 and 14.6 and all this other 15 high and all this other foolishness. Stop listening to these guys, okay? Check your height. Check your height. CYH, okay? This is a CYH video. Check your height. Don't leave out the yard without checking your height, especially if you got SUVs like Tell You Rise and all these Sorrentos and these Sportages and stuff like that. There's SUVs on here, so check your height. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, if you got cars and you want to run, you want to run um raw dog like the Flintstones, and you don't want to check your height, by all means, go ahead. If you got a bunch of Teslas on there or something, and you know your height is low, then you don't have to waste your time per se checking your height. Me personally, I'm still checking my height. I don't care if I got, I don't care what I got on here. I'm checking my height just because, because I like to ride with complete comfortability. I don't like to have no doubts when I'm riding. I don't want to think one second from my mind. Am I, what height am I? What, what, what? Cause when you hit something, you're going to be like, oh, I thought I was, I thought my height was good. You know what I'm saying? I thought my height was, I thought my height was this. I think when they're going to ask you, how high was you? Did you check your height? Uh, uh, yeah. You know, you didn't check your height. Stop lying. You know what I'm saying? That's why you tore something up. Cause you ain't check your freaking height. Check your height, man. It's not that it's not that difficult. It's take you for it take you two minutes to check your height. All right. So this is coming from a rookie to all my rookies out there, all my veterans out there. Stop capping people up, talking about you don't gotta check your height and all that stuff. Stop, stop telling people what you do, cause you do what you do, cause you got 15 years in the game. Okay. You don't. We we not gonna do what you do. We rookies. Rookies do rookie stuff. Veterans do veteran stuff. So stop talking to us like we veterans and like we supposed to be out here riding 15 high. And then when we tear something up, the first thing you're going to say is, why you ain't check your height? Really? Veteran? Come on, man. Give me some real game. Don't give me that. Don't give me the lame game. Give me the real game. You feel me? Tell me, young, young whoopersnapper, check your height. Check your height. You hear me? Because you're going to end up paying for a lot of damage. You're going to lose your job. If you're a company driver, if you're own operator, you're going to mess around and lose your authority because you're out here tearing stuff up. So don't, don't, don't hesitate to check your height if you have any doubt. If you know your height is low enough, obviously, you, you know, you may not have to check it if you know your height. Me, personally, I like to check my height every time I load up. That's just how I do. All right? Unless I got three cars on there or something like that. And I still be trying to, I still be about to check my height even if I got three units on here. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, it's the Rookie Car Hauler. We back out here loading up. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's Monday. Um, I'm running late today because I had to do some other stuff early this morning. I had a load on my back I dropped this morning. Um, and now I'm out here, you know, uh, uh, taking this load. I'm in West Point right now, about to take this load to Louisiana. There's nine cars on here. Uh, we fully loaded, all right? Take it easy. And if you can, check your weight too. We used to check our weight before we left too. When I was at United Road, because, but United Road paid for the weight ticket. So we go to the weight scale at the quick, at the, at the QT, down the street from the BMW plant, and, uh, and uh, over there in, uh, uh, you know, over there in, in uh, South Carolina. And then we would check our weight too. That way you got your own weight ticket. So you know already before you get on the weight scale, you already know what your weight is and you know what your height is. So can't nobody tell you overweight because you got the weight ticket already. The United Road will pay for it. You just use the your fuel card. Anyway, it's the Rookie Car Hauler. Y'all take it easy and uh, be safe out there. All right.